All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In this video, very exciting news. We can see that the Euroi wallet is now ready for delegation. So if you've been waiting to delegate your Cardano to a stake pool, you are now ready to do so. Uh, you can delegate your ADA using a 15 word, 24 word, or a Trezor hardware wallet. So we're gonna be talking about all that here in this video. I'm gonna go over the process of being able to create a new wallet and being able to delegate to a Cardano stake pool. So if you are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for joining me here today. To get things started, if you guys do find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. It definitely does let me know that you found some value from this content. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the relevant Cardano information. Click that notification bell also so you know exactly when I post a new video. So what I've got pulled up here is the Euroi web extension for my web browser. And if you're used to Euroi, this is gonna look very familiar to you. I wanted to just briefly talk about some of the options that we have here and what we saw with the Twitter post from the Euroi team. The options that we have as of right now, we can connect a hardware wallet. So if you do hold your ADA on a Trezor wallet, you'll be able to use that to be able to delegate your ADA directly from your hardware wallet. Right now, if you do hold your ADA using the Ledger hardware wallet, um, that functionality should be coming very soon. We should see that within the next update or so to be able to support delegation using the Ledger device. Uh, but right now, Trezor is good to go. And then the other option we saw was a 15 word recovery phrase and the 24 word recovery phrase. So if you do have an older Byron era wallet, what you would wanna do first, this option here where it says restore wallet, you can go ahead and use your recovery phrase from your Byron era wallet, and that'll allow you to sync that wallet up to the blockchain. And from there, you would need to create a new wallet. The user interface in Euroi is gonna walk you through that entire process. And what you would wanna do after you create a new wallet is simply click the option to move your funds from the old wallet into the new wallet. But essentially what we'll start with, this is going to allow us to start from scratch. This is gonna be the easiest. If you are just getting started with Euroi, I would recommend you create a new wallet. So let's go ahead and choose that option here. We can create a brand new wallet. It's gonna ask us to pick a currency or platform. In this instance, we are looking at Cardano ADA. I'm gonna click on that here and it gives us a couple options. We can either choose to create a wallet with a mnemonic phrase, or we can go ahead and select the paper wallet. I did actually play with this a little bit before I made this video, and I gotta say the paper wallet looks really nice. Uh, it's got a samurai logo on the front, and you guys know Kaizen Crypto, we're all about that samurai, so I actually thought that was really cool. If you guys do wanna try it out, you can choose either one, uh, whichever one you decide, you just wanna pay attention to making sure that you have it saved in a safe place, you're going to want to use that mnemonic phrase to be able to restore your wallet. In this instance, let's choose the most common option we will see for most users. We'll just click on create a wallet. We can go ahead and name our wallet and then it'll ask us to type in a spending password. So if you do use Daedalus, this is the same thing as a spending password where if you wanted to send your ADA, you first have to type in that password along with the wallet uh, deposit address so that you can confirm that transaction. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in this information and I'll be right back for you guys. So after you've went ahead and typed in the correct information, you can click on create a personal wallet and then from there, we see a notification on our screen saying, on the following screen, you will see a set of 15 random words. This is your wallet backup phrase. So it'll be entered in any version of your ROI in order to backup or restore your wallet's funds and private key. So you wanna make sure you treat these words like gold. Essentially, this is gonna be what you use if you ever have to restore your wallet. This is gonna be what allows you to access your funds. So I'm gonna click this notification here, making sure that nobody is looking at the screen. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and get this information here. I'm gonna make sure that I write this down and I have it backed up and secured in a safe place. And we will continue on from there. All right, so after you have verified your recovery phrase, it's asking you here, it's saying that you understand that your secret keys are held securely on this device only, not on the company's servers and that you understand that this application is moved to another device or deleted, the money can only be recovered with the backup phrase that you've written down. So that is going to be something we understand. We'll go ahead and check both of those boxes. Let's confirm. 
And from here, we can see the wallet we have just created. So it's really nice because the user interface is very similar to what we saw with the previous version for Yoroi. So if you are familiar with this wallet, I think you'll find that the user interface is very friendly. You've got the balance up here, top right. It shows you the name of the wallet. You've got the send and receive option, you've got your dashboard, and you've got your delegation center. So now that we have created the wallet, I wanted to go ahead and next show you the process of being able to delegate your ADA to a stake pool. Now, in the instance that you are restoring a brand new wallet, the first thing you'll have to do is go ahead and send some ADA over to this wallet. And then we'll be able to go over to the delegation center where we can choose all the different stake pools and we can go ahead and start earning passive income by delegating to a stake pool. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and send over some ADA to my Shelly Yoroi wallet. And then we'll be able to look at all the different stake pools. Okay, so I've went ahead and sent some ADA to my new Shelly Uroy wallet. Now that we've done that, we're able to start delegating to a stake pool. So let's go through the process here. On the top right, we can see all these different options within the wallet to either send or receive ADA. You can go to your dashboard. Let's actually click on that. Uh, this shows you some more information about the status of the blockchain. Uh, we can see the current epoch. We can see the time until the next epoch here. Um, upcoming rewards, so if you're anticipating rewards, um, how that will be paid out to you. So let's go ahead and click on the delegation tab. This is gonna be what we need to use in order to delegate our Cardano to a stake pool. So the option we have here, we can choose the stake pool ID. In this instance, I would recommend the tool called pooltool.io. It's gonna be a very straightforward user interface. So if you're looking for a stake pool that shows you all the metrics related to the different stake pools, talking about the fixed fee, the variable fee. I did post a video earlier today talking about how to look at these different metrics and hopefully get a better understanding of which stake pool is gonna be best for you. In this instance, for the sake of this video, let's choose Kaizen stake pool. So you can actually just type in the pool ticker here in pool tool. This is gonna show you the information related to the stake pool. You can see the information here, the epoch fee, variable fee, the pool pledge, live stake, all of that here on pool tool. Um, I will leave a link for you guys also down in the description. So if you do wanna check it out, you can just check out the link down in the description. What we have here is the pool ID. This is the information that we're gonna need. You can actually just click on this option to copy to clipboard. So if you click on that, it'll go ahead and copy it. Let's go back over to your Roy and we'll go ahead and paste that stake pool ID. Let's go ahead and click on next. And we can see here it populates Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. It gives you the pool description and you can actually view the pool webpage. So lots of cool information there. Let's go ahead and click on next. And what we have here, this is the transaction of actually being able to delegate your ADA to the stake pool. So we're gonna see a one-time fee. It's a transaction fee of being able to delegate your ADA. We're gonna pay about 2.17 ADA. Uh, to the network to be able to confirm that transaction. What we have here, after the transaction fee has taken place, we'll be delegating 2.82 ADA to Kaizen stake pool. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm by entering our spending password. After we've typed in our spending password, it'll ask us to go ahead and delegate. So we can go ahead and click on that. It even gives you approximate rewards per epoch. So that's pretty cool. And what just happened was the transaction was submitted to the blockchain. It can show us here, we can track the status of the stake pool and the amount of time remaining to receive a reward from the dashboard page. So we've successfully delegated. Let's go over to our dashboard page. And this shows us a bit of a summary of what we have going on with our wallet. Uh, it looks like the transaction hasn't yet taken place. I guess we'll just have to wait for this here for the transaction to show up, but essentially that's it. Yep, so the transaction just popped up there and let's go back over to our dashboard and there it is. So we can see the total amount of ADA we have delegated, it shows us the total rewards we have to our wallet. Uh, so very straightforward process here, guys. It'll show us your rewards down here. It's got a nice chart that you can see on the x-axis, you've got the epoch and on the y-axis, you can track your rewards. Really, really nice user interface. I think it's very seamless. Now that we do see your Roy delegation available, I know lots of users enjoy this user interface a little bit more. It's a light client, as opposed to having to download the entire blockchain with Daedalus you're able to use the Yoroi Light Wallet to be able to do the same things as far as delegating. 
So really cool. I would recommend that you guys give it a try. I wanted to go ahead and jump over now. If you already have a Yoroi wallet, what does the process look like to be able to restore your Byron Arrow wallet and convert that over to a Shelly wallet? So I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through that process here in the next part of this video. So next would be, let's say for instance, if you already have a Yoroi wallet and you wanna go ahead and restore your wallet so that you can go ahead and start delegating. In that instance, what you would wanna do is click on the restore wallet option. Uh, very similar to creating a new wallet, this is gonna prompt you with choosing your currency or platform. So we're gonna choose Cardano ADA. And from here, now depending on what type of wallet recovery phrase you have, you just wanna choose the correct option for you. In this instance, it's saying we can either enter in a 15 word recovery phrase, a 24 word recovery phrase, or a paper wallet. So now in this instance, let's go ahead and choose one of these options just for an example purpose. And it's asking us to choose if we have either a Byron era wallet or a Shelly era wallet. Now, essentially with this, it's going to be very similar to the process of creating a new wallet. It's just one additional step. So if you've already got a Byron era wallet, it says read only right here. And what that means is that the Shelly functionality, such as things like delegating and staking, are only available for the Shelly era wallet. So if you do have a Byron era wallet, what you would wanna do is click on it. It'll ask you to go through the process of restoring your wallet by entering in your recovery phrase. Uh, you just want to type that information in here. It'll ask you for your spending password, and then you'll see your wallet restored using the user interface for the wallet. After you've restored your wallet, you'll be prompted saying that this is actually a Byron era wallet. You need to go ahead and create a new wallet for the Shelly era to be able to take part in something like delegating. So I would recommend you go through that process, follow the user interface to go ahead and create a new Shelly era wallet. And then from there, you'll be able to transfer your ADA from your Byron era wallet over to your new Shelly era wallet. And from there, the process is the exact same as we saw at the earlier part of this video in terms of being able to delegate to a stake pool. So I hope that does help. And as far as connecting a hardware device, unfortunately, I do not have a Trezor hardware device, but I do have a Ledger hardware device. So as soon as the Ledger functionality becomes available for your Roy in terms of being able to start delegating and staking your ADA, I will be sure to create a follow-up video to show you how to do that as well. So guys, that is pretty much the process for being able to delegate and start staking using the Yoroi wallet. So I hope that has answered some of your questions. Hopefully it's helped you out if you are trying to use this type of wallet to be able to start staking and earn passive income on your Cardano. If you do have any questions about anything that we're talking about here in this video, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section and I will do my best to go ahead and answer those questions for you. Anyway, guys, if you did find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me before you go, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.